Well, hello there, Switchheads, one and all. Hope you're all well. And welcome to my review of Bitmaster. And as usual, before we get into it, why not hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with all my latest content. And if you want to go that little bit further, join us in our community Discord. And so let's see whether Bitmaster can make it onto the Wall of Fame or the Wall of Shame or somewhere in that middle. Let's get on with it, shall we? Gameplay. <laughs> And to kick us off, there is a story in Bitmaster, but it's a weird one with like weird stuff in it, but it doesn't really bear much of significance while you're actually playing the game. So yeah, it's there, but it doesn't really make any difference to the gameplay. And talking about the gameplay, Bitmaster is kind of like an arena shooter type game. You against a large amount of enemies and basically you start with one of five characters, the other four being unlocked. And to unlock all the rest of the characters you need to use these gems and good luck on getting loads of them to unlock all of them without feeling like it's a grind. The controls are actually okay, they work quite well, but the actual trigger button to fire your weapon is the top like side button instead of the bottom trigger button but the bottom trigger button is the one to swap your actual weapons and that just feels weird and awkward on my fingers and I wish they'd actually just given you a choice of which one you actually want because damn straight I would have picked that bottom trigger button for all my bottom trigger needs <laughs> yeah I practiced that as well okay so the low down basically is the fact that you have to defend yourself while your ship repairs itself and trust me this can take a fair while and a hell of a lot of waves and if if you die any time between it well you start again but you do actually get experience points and eventually level up and that means that you get more health and things like that which in your next run kind of like helps you out and trust me the amount of enemies that you get coming after you in a whole entire run is immense and you will need to be able to do that you won't just go straight on to the next stage just on your first run trust me and once you're actually doing this there are buildings around the actual arenas and they can give you plus and negative effects as in sort of like the ability to make you move faster things that block your actual shield regeneration slowly drains your life and shield makes you move slower the ability to heal you up really quicker or faster than normal and these are all random and sort of like change as you actually play the game and once you've got through all of them and struggled and believe me you will to get to the actual bosses at the end of these levels well then you get your ass kicked and you have to start again and then you go back and eventually you do defeat him but wow this game is kind of grindy you do get to pick up different weapons whilst you're actually playing though and these de different weapons do actually feel different and also you can get these so that they power up as well as in they shoot more bullets each time you get one of these power ups or they just do more damage and the like now i will state for the record that it took me an hour and a half to basically power up my character so that he's tough enough to actually get to the boss not take on the boss but just to get to the boss and although I did have fun getting to the boss it was a bit grindy and I mean a hell of a lot grindy so much so that getting to the boss and being defeated by the boss kind of like felt I don't know mean I guess Graphically, it looks okay for the price. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything really great. And whizzing around on a skateboard is pretty cool. The actual different weapons actually look like different weapons and act like different weapons, which is good as well. And all the creatures, even though they all are basic, they are all different, I suppose. The actual bosses are, well, yeah, they're pretty cool. Sound-wise, again, it does the job for the price, I suppose. The music's all right. I kind of like bopped around to it. I didn't turn it down, which is, to me, a good thing. And all the other sounds were sufficient, I suppose. The good. For under a fiver, you get a hell of a lot of gameplay here. It can be fun. I like the fact that you get different weapons in it as well. The bad. 
it is definitely grindy i will give it that and that's not necessarily a good thing going forward the score i did enjoy this game i just don't know how long it's going to last in the current state and the fact that it is really grindy and difficult to get anything out of the game it kind of worries me the fact that the further in you go the more i'm going to start getting bored of it considering everything just seems the same the score i think for the price it's not a bad game and yeah i think i'm going to give it a three out of five for definite and i think that take into account of the grindy nature of it and i think that really can actually hurt the game in a way going forward as i said Okay, and as for my alternative, I think I'm going to suggest a cane, which is kind of like a twin stick shooter, and it's done in an arena as well, but it's slightly different. But if you know one that will fit as a better alternative, then leave it down in the comments. And also, if you have anything to say whatsoever about Bitmaster, leave them down in the comments as well, because after all, that's what they're there for. And so hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date on my latest content and come and join us in the community discord come for a chat we're all friendly people because life is better when we switch together.